Chess friends, today again 8 grandmasters will play against Alpha Zero. You give me much love in this episode. So, I decided to make a full series on this topic. Comment me your 8 grandmasters, if your comment gets much likes then I will make that specific video. And also, I have 3 video choice. Look here, Alpha Zero vs Grandmasters, Alpha Zero vs Hanson Stockfish vs Alpha Zero match. What video you want, just comment me. In this game Alpha Zero played F4, bird opening against all of them. Before starting the video I have a puzzle for you. This is 77 to 90 IQ puzzle, you have only 3 minutes time to solve it, and comment me the full answer. And if you haven't subscribed our channel yet, then subscribe the channel with a beautiful comment and like, so you will never miss any premium content from us. Let's go, in this position, you can play standard opening like e4, d4, or knight f3, knight c3. But alpha 0 is alpha 0 he chose to play f4. What is the move strategy, well, e4, knight f3, castle, bishop here, using the diagonal. And also you can play like this. And a very important thing, after castling, trade your pawn then you will get open file for the rook. But f4 have little winning chance according to the computer. That's why no super grandmasters or no super engines play f4 in his tournament games. Because you don't know where the king will castle. If black play long castled, then he can play like this. d4. Knight f6. Bishop here then push your h-pawn to create some troubles for white's king. g6. Bishop g7. They choose to play the d5. e3 by alpha. They have some different choices some wants g6, c5 but knight f6 by computer because it's a best move. Knight f3. Some want to play c5. But Magnus, Vichy played best move bishop f5. h3. Alpha wants to push his pawns, if bishop g6 then f5. After g4, if bishop b7, then you are by sop will be very passive. So they played h5. Knight c3. Knight e4. What you will play? d4 or d3 does not matter. If d4, then knight g3, targeting the rook. If the rook moves away, then e6. Your pieces will be very passive and your king is very weak. Back to the position, alpha played knight e2. Protecting the g3 square and threatening to play d3. We have e6. d3. Knight back to f6 is not best, because after that, where the knight will go, right. So some grandmasters played best move knight d6. You might think the bishop is very passive, but after two moves the bishop will be very active. You can play c5 and h4. So, alpha played g3. Bishop e7. Bishop g2. Some want to play bishop h7. c5. Rest want knight c6 c5 by computer because it's the best move. b3? knight c6. knight e5. knight takes e5 is not the right move because you can literally play c4 with no issue. bishop b2. castle. rook here. so they choose to play bishop f6 targeting the knight. bishop b2. bishop g6. queen d2. Alpha wants to do long castle. Because this pawn structure is not bad. Therefore you should not push your c pawn. And black's dark square bishop is useless because of this. Light square bishop is very active. So they decide to exchange the powerful knight with the passive bishop. You should not take the bishop with your bishop because of this, your bishop is very active, why would you trade it? So f takes e5. If they played knight f5. Then you shouldn't push your d-pawn because these square will be weak. But there is a another choice. 
push your e pawn instead of d pawn. They played knight f5. e4. d takes e4. You should not play pawn takes pawn because of this. King takes d2. Castle, it's a check. King c1. Knight e3. Your pieces will be very passive. Knight is targeting this, and your king is very weak. So bishop, takes e4. Keeping the pawns together. Queen c7. Long castle. Knight e7. Bishop g2. Long castle. We have king b1. They played knight takes e5, but best move was knight d4. Here is why, if knight d4. Knight takes d4. Pawn takes d4. Your bishop is little passive. Queen have open file. Knight can jump into this square to targeting the both pieces. Queen takes e5 is available for black. But they played knight takes e5, which is in a currency. Threatening to play knight takes d3, let me show the variation. And after some moves later, white will face so many troubles, it's bishop check and you will lose your queen. So back to the position, we have knight f4. Bishop f5. Queen e2, creating pressure on the knight with bishop. So, f6. Knight takes h5. Knight c6. We have g4, because black have no dark square bishop to seizing these squares. So bishop g6. Knight f4 targeting the pawn. Bishop f7, the bishop becomes very passive. Queen f2. Knight d7. g5. f takes g5. Knight e2. Bishop h5. Rook e1. Exchanging the knight with the bishop is not good for black, because white have bishop pair, rook have open file, position will be very bad for black. So e5. Knight c3. Knight d4. Queen g3. Rook d f8. Knight e4. Bishop f3. Bishop takes f3. Rook takes f3. Queen takes g5. Knight f6. Bishop takes d4. They played c takes d4. Because the queen gets a open file. Knight takes f6. You can't take the knight. Because of this, it will be a fork between king and rook. So they played rook f2. Queen g4 check. King b8. Knight d7 check. King a8. Rook c1. Rook f7. Knight takes e5. Queen takes e5. Rook h e1. Queen c5. Rook e4. Rook d8. Queen e6. Rook c7. Queen e5. g5. Queen takes c5. Rook takes c5. Rook c e1. King b8. Rook e5. Rook takes e5. Rook takes e5. White is winning because it's 4 versus 3 in queen side and 1 versus 1. It's a pawn island, black's rook can't protect them at the same time. If he can do then it will be time travel, professor paradox situation. Anyway rook g8. b4. g4. h takes g4. rook takes g4. rook e4. You shouldn't take the rook, because of this, white will create a passed pawn. It's 2v2, so black have no hope there. White will win the game easily. So, rook g5. Keeping the rook to preventing the pawns, from promoting. Rook takes d4. a5. a3. Rook f5. King b2. King c7. King b3. King c6. Rook c4 check. King b5. 
Rook c5 check. Rook takes c5. A4 check. King c6. B takes c5. King takes c5. In this position Carlson resigned the game, but other Grand Masters still plays the game. Let's see how the game will be end and don't forget to solve the cheese puzzle I give to you. Wish you all the best. Thanks for watching subscribe for more. Bye bye. Take care. See you in my next video.